all y'all running around. See, I'm used to being the one who has set all this up. So I just kind of <laughs> I appreciate all your help. Appreciate you putting up with me. <laughs> I said, I know that every time that phone rang, he saw Janice, he talked about all the <laughs> So, okay, fishing, and what other hobbies do you have? Um, uh, my church home. Right. And I'm hoping I'm going to have more time to do that. I used to do a lot more of it. The older I get, I don't feel like doing it when, I, when I'm working, so hopefully I can get back out of that. Okay. Yeah. So I, I think I'll have enough to keep it busy. And then it'll be nice if I don't want to do anything, I can just sit down and read it. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds relaxing and wonderful. <laughs> just say I'm tired. I'm not going to say anything about being old. <laughs> I'm too old, really. <laughs> yeah, you used to be young and still retired. Well, we'll see how long you last. Yeah, that's right. But well, I'm hoping to enjoy it all the time to do, do something else. Yeah, yeah. Go travel, go see friends. Yeah. But I said, I was looking at the list today and the foundation meetings are, and I said, I'm wondering if on July 25th, I'm going to be wondering about it. What are you doing in that foundation? I hope you show up. Yeah. I hope you show up out of boredom. No, I don't think so. <laughs> I did those last minutes and I thought, oh, no more minutes, no more minutes. <laughs> I know that feeling. I do too. I do too. I know when, that feeling. When I did my last statement on the apartment, yeah, it was moving out and whatnot. Oh, I got this void of time, but boy, it's filled up fast. It's real good. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So get ready. Well, I'm. I'm ready. You're going to enjoy having something else. Yeah. Different. different. Yeah. It'll be nice. Nice. Looking forward to it. Now, the feed, does this mean that you're going on a cruise? You guys been traveling to me? That's what it does. Susan Jordan. <laughs> this is our man. <laughs> I thought maybe she was going to be spending time on the Now, that's, that's an idea. Let us know where to visit you. That's a good idea. Let us know where to visit. Which yeah. island, you know. Yeah. We'll, 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 we can have a party over there, too. Y'all, read the paper one day. You can be the construction supervisor. Yeah, I'll be the chief and watch the end. I have a big hard hat I like can move. Okay. 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 We'll make you official. Okay. okay. That's an idea. I said, no, this is Susan Jordan. That's what she did. All right. Yeah. You know, we're doing this thing. We're still that you came today to help recognize uh, Janice Givens. She has put in 15 years of service and what has worked with the foundation all that time? Just about the whole time. Just about that whole time. And I tell you what, for a very small shop, uh, really it has been a two women's shop. I mean, they do a <laughs> tremendous amount of work. Uh, just in the short time I've been here, uh, just to see what, what Cynthia and Janice do to, to take care of uh, our foundation board and uh, grants and all the folks that donate to the foundation and all the people that come in and out of that office all the time. Janice is such a gracious uh, host many times and uh, uh, provides cr tremendous clerical support and works with people in the community all the time. Has done an outstanding job. This is just a very small token of our appreciation that you Thank can you. look at and remember from South Ark, uh, your friends and family here. I will never. Uh, it'll, it'll always be part of me. It'll always be part of me. <laughs> but we, we are family and it's always so great to see all of you here to be able to support one of ours and send them off. And, 
how how wonderful of the uh, a beach party because we hope that you have many years of relaxing time whether it's at the beach <laughs> or at home with your feet up reading a book or or just enjoying your time with your husband mm -hmm. let's hear with you and your family and, and grandkids so anyway we wish you well thank you and we thank you for everything thank you Janice I don't know if I'm saying that or not. <laughs> I, I do consider all y'all family. I really do. Uh, I was telling someone the other day, even though I don't see all of you every day, and sometimes I don't even see you for weeks and all, but when I see you, it's it's just like you are extended family. And uh, South Hart will always be part of me. Um, this was a blessing when I got the job. It really was, and I, I truly enjoyed it. But. To be truthful, I'm looking forward to <laughs> going on and, and, and doing a little more, spending some time with my grandkids and with my husband and friends. And um, I'm going to miss you, but I will be around, so hopefully I'll see y'all. Yeah. See you next, folks. This is the fun part where we get to give Janice a little gift. And like Dr. Jones said, if you have a, a favorite anecdote or something to share about Janice, please share it because her husband and her family is here. And I don't think they see the side of her that we see. I know y'all love her. Uh, but I just want to say that Janice and I started 15 years ago, two weeks apart. Uh, and so I'm very jealous that she's getting to go and I'm having to study. <laughs> That's neither here nor there. But I will say that it is a glorious day for Janice and a very happy day, but it's a very sad day for us. And I just don't like even talking because I think I'm going to start crying and I never cry. So I'm going to make my, my little talk very, very, very short. Um, the thing that I want to share that's kind of funny that probably is not funny to everybody else, but it is to us, including Marguerite, is that we all worked together. Marguerite, Janice, Susan, and I worked in the president's office, and fortunately, Dr. Jones didn't have to work with us because she probably would have kicked us out. <laughs> but there was something about, you know, it was always a very crazy, high-stress environment because we had the president's office and the grant's office and, and the foundation office, but there was something about 3 o'clock in our office during the day and we would get so goofy. We would just break into giggles. <laughs> and so I always thought that was so funny and cute because we would just be trying to be professional and we would just look at each other and like, you know, schoolgirls would just start laughing and giggling. So when we left and went into separate offices, we all missed each other. But truly, we were all like sisters. We've all worked together so long. And Kathy Waldrop came into the fold and Unfortunately, she turned just like us. <laughs> but Janice is a wonderful person. She's dedicated. She's conscientious. She has been a gift to me because there have been so many times when I wanted to say something that was maybe not so nice or I would lose my temper, and Janice was always my calming effect. She was always, I think one of the best pieces of advice that Janice ever said to me was, Cynthia, rise above it, take the high road. And so I would just calm down. So Janice, I want to thank you for giving me the advice, otherwise I may not have a job. <laughs> <laughs> this gift here is from everybody. Thank you for those of you who have donated. She loves red. And she loves flowers, so you get you get to keep this from Mary Stokes. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, yeah. One of Dinah Van Hook's students actually painted that. So thank you, Dinah, for that. I had the pleasure with working with Janice for over three to four years when I got involved on the board and then with <clears throat> Oil Town. <clears throat> and the story I have here is the last couple of years, uh, we aggressively started to challenge ourselves on how much money we could raise and, and how many people we could find to, to help support Outdoor Expo. And so I think it was two years ago or last year where I, I started to set goals every day saying we're, we're going to go for 40. Then we hit 40, and I said, oh, time to change it to 50. Then we hit 50, and then tried to change it to 60. Then we hit 60. So then she started doing it, saying, OK, Greg, <laughs> it's time to hit 70. Let's go do something. And it was time to hit 80. Go do something now. And then she got up to 90, and, and we broke the records all over the place. But it was funny because she got really involved in it. And 
So I was getting emails, well, have you checked with him? Have you checked with him again? <laughs> have you followed up with those guys you said you were going to do it? I tell you, she managed the lots of things that uh, take a lot of time and effort uh, to make happen and keep up with, and, and she did a great job. And a lot of the success of what's happened in the last few years really came from your organizing and managing her and me. <laughs> and so, in the end of the day, you were the one running the show, really. Oh, so, no, and, and uh, we, we appreciate. Had yes, we did, and and we appreciate everything you've well, done. Thank and, you. Don't be a stranger. I know you won't be. And, uh, no, I'm going to go watch Enjoy Expo. There you go. That's right. <laughs> get your big get, get your big padded chair and, 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 and be done with it. Well, congratulations. Thank we appreciate you. it. I've been here about nine and a half years, and one of the very first memories that I have of the first week I'm here, and I know all of y'all, your first week is kind of, you don't remember it a lot. I didn't know this lady from Adam. And she came by my office and she said, I am so glad you're here and I know you're just going to love working here and I'm just going to enjoy working with you. And I remember that. And I just want to say thank you so very much. I, I didn't work, I worked with her with Expo and I asked her, I said, Miss Janice, you got to come back and do one more Expo. <laughs> and if looks would kill, I'd be <laughs> But anyway, I did see her when they were on the third floor. We would go over there and chat and talk and that kind of stuff. And I know you're excited to go to your stuff. But I just want to say, I'm going to miss you. I'm going to miss you too. Janice, we're going to miss you up in the business office. A lot. A lot. <laughs> uh, Regina is here today. Uh, Regina, is, she, is, she is the auditor for the foundation. And Regina and I have worked closely with Janice. Uh, I came here a little over two years ago. And, and realized that I was going to get to work with the foundation a little bit more than I thought I was going to. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I had worked, worked some of the foundations in the past, but not as close as I got to work with Janice. And so Janice, Janice kind of paved the way for me to help me uh, know a lot of the history of the foundation because after all the years she's been here, she, she knew all, pretty much all the answers to all the questions I had and helped that whole lot. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate, appreciate all the help you, you gave me. And, I, I appreciate all the help you've done for South Park and for the foundation because I've been amazed at all the things the foundation has done and all the money you've helped raise and, and, uh, and all the work that you've, you've given us to do so that we can keep up with all that work. But uh, we'll miss you in the business office. I'll probably be calling you. As Cynthia said, we are all extremely upset that Janice is going home and Cynthia is staying. <laughs> One of the things I love about Janice is she was about the only one who beat me to the office. So before things got crazy, we could go talk. And I could hardly wait after talking to my brother the night before to go in and share my latest story about my niece and my nephew with Janice. Of course, Janice could always top that story with one of her grandkids. Of course, if you have 400, it's easy to top the story. It, it's, been, it's been fabulous working with Janice for several reasons, not least of which she's the only person I've met who can keep Cynthia a little sane during Expo Week. When we started out with Expo, it was on the back parking lot, and we barely covered the back parking lot. Now it's taking over all of El Dorado and all of our lives. We have a small gift for you. This is one of the first brand new South Ark umbrellas. Wonderful. So when you're strolling down the beach, <laughs> you your head so you don't get a sunstroke. And for all of those of you who are going to want one of these, to get one, you have two options. You can work with Cynthia for 20 years and then retire, <laughs> or you can pay me $300, whichever you figure is cheaper. I well, earned everything. <laughs> you earned everything. <laughs> with Janice for a lot of years and it's always been a pleasure. She and Susan and I have had a special bond and friendship that will continue on. And Janice has the highest standards of her behavior, her conduct, and she's lots of fun, but she does an excellent job in everything she does. And I know you all are going to miss her a great deal, but Janice, I'm happy for you because I'm enjoying my retirement and you will lose too. <laughs>